Hi YouTube, it's Catherine. Um, sorry, I'm in this kind of scene. I'm downstairs and she's fell asleep and I'm tired. Um, I'm trying to make this really, really quick. Um, Sienna had her two month shots, her two month appointment plus shots. <sighs> that was very stressful. Um, she got two shots, like two pokes, and then she had to drink um, something that helps with like diarrhea and vomiting. It was called, I'm not sure what it was called. I had the papers, but yeah, in, the t in one shot she had, I think, three vaccines, and then the other one I think she had two. So it was all together it was like like five or six because three and one and two and then she had to drink something um she got weighed and now she weighs 11 pounds 14 ounces she is 23 inches 23 and a half inches long her head circumference is 15 inches her height she's in the 84th percentile um, and she's in the 70, I think 71st of growth percentile for her weight and the 26th percentile for her head circumference. She's doing really good. As you can see, she fell asleep. Um, other than the shots, she like screamed her lungs out. She turned blood red and really only screamed for like three seconds really and then after she was done they put band-aids on her well the nurse put band-aids on her and then I picked her up and I was calming her down and she stopped crying right away but um she was so red it was so hard to watch but I was trying to keep her distracted but it didn't really work but she did really good she was weighed and he asked about her reflux and that's been way her reflux is like she's growing out of it because it's really doing great with the medicine. Um, she's still a little constipated. Well, I brought it up with him and he doesn't think she's really constipated. Um, what he told me was really um, reassuring. Um, so I don't worry as much because I always think she's constipated. Um, but yeah, she's doing really good and. Her test results back from when she was a little baby, well, she was first born, um, she has hemoglobin, the hemoglobin C trait, and, um, you can really look that up yourself because it's really complicated and I, myself, don't really know much how he explained it on this paper. I'm going to research more and I might update you on that. It's something has to do with something about the sickle cell trait and the sickle cell disease. But I'm not going to go into that because I don't really understand. Um, but she's doing good. She's been tired. Um, so she had a long day today. She has a four month appointment October 19th at 9 o'clock. And. The doctor gave us something. There's a new study showing that feeding babies solids too soon increases risk of becoming obese before reaching preschool age. Basically, that means if you feed your baby solids sooner than four months old, I guess they're at risk for becoming overweight at a young age. I didn't plan on feeding her solids that or holy. I was gonna go with whatever her doctor said. So whenever he says find the feed her solids and that's when we'll do it. And he told me that within the next two months, four months, when she's four months old, she should gain at least two and a half to three pounds up until uh, I guess her next appointment so yeah
this little article really made me interested and it surprised me and it says researchers aren't exactly sure why introducing solids early may be linked to obesity their best guess is that formula fed infants are consuming more milk than breastfed children therefore getting more calories and right now she's on formula so I would hope you know at least five and a half months six months when she can eat because I don't really want her getting overweight but that's about it and I got a phone call so I will update you in whatever next video <laughs> goodbye I would show you her but she's asleep I don't know. I'll show you her in another video bye bye